In some cases, with, especially with the PSQL Workgroup Engine installed as an application, you may have problems installing a license key. Here's an example where we've pasted in our license key and we click the Authorize button. However, the system immediately comes back with an error 7224, user lacks the appropriate rights to authorize or deauthorize a key. There's one solution where you can just uninstall the software, reinstall it as a service, in which case that's going to resolve most of the time. However, in other cases, you may actually want the database engine installed as an application, so you need to continue and be able to fix this accordingly. What we're going to do is dismiss the dialog box and close the PSQL license administrator. We're now going to shut down the database engine. Now when the database engine is installed as an application, down on the Windows system tray there will be other icons. You'll want to close the notification viewer and also close the database engine, selecting stop engines and exit. This will shut down the database engine and allow us to restart it. In order to restart it correctly, we need to restart from an administrative command prompt. To get to an administrative command prompt, we again click on the start button to bring up the Windows 8 menu. We type in CMD and that shows us our command prompt item. We can then right click that and then down on the bottom of the screen run as administrator. This will prompt us for a login name if necessary. If you are already an administrator equivalent, you may just have to acknowledge the UAC box. Once we've got everything set up as an administrative command prompt, now we can relaunch the engine. We launch the engine with the command of W3DBSMGR. Because we're running it from the administrative command prompt, the database engine now restarts and it will run with administrative privileges. We can now license the engine using the command line license administrator, which is CLILCADM. Now this program itself has a number of different options. If you just press enter, you'll get a list of those options. In our case, what we're going to do is we're going to use the A authorize option. So we hit the up arrow to retype that. We put in a dash A, and again it is a lowercase A in this case, it must be lowercase. If you try putting in a capital A, it will not work here. And then we go again, we find our license key and we paste it in. When I hit enter here, the command line license administrator, which is also running in the administrative command prompt, now has the appropriate rights to continue and authorize the license properly comes back and tells us that everything is set up, we have one remaining authorization. We can verify that by again running the license administrator with a dash I parameter and that will show us which licenses are currently installed on this machine and sure enough we see our license actually set up there and we know that that license is now active. At this point we can close the administrative command prompt by just typing in exit or hitting the big red X and then reboot the machine and it is all set to go.